I arrived in 1994, there was some rowing before I arrived, so there was definitely an E.L. Crosley rowing team. It was a smaller team at that point, so I think we ramped it up a bit, um, probably as we got a little more involved with the team and the team started having some good success, it became contagious and the team grew. Starting out small, the team has now grown to over 60 members winning numerous national championships. To be perfectly honest, our team goal every year is to try and bring home the men's and women's uh, team championship trophy from the, uh, it's the CSSRA, so it's the Secondary School Rowing Association Championships. Every year we go in believing we have a shot to do that. I mean, things have to fall in place, but I think we're hopeful that we can get as many boats into the final as possible and that those boats can be as successful as possible in the finals. So I think we're, we're still, that's our goal. We're going to stick with our goal. And if, if things fall into place, we'll hopefully have a chance to work on those two championships trophies. The rowing program at E.L. Crosley has a great record with students receiving scholarships both here in Canada as well as the United States. We've had a number of um, student athletes with the Crosley rowing program that have gone on to row at the collegiate level. A number of those have gone on to U.S. scholarships. In, in the past 25 years, we've probably had over 100 student athletes that have gone on to scholarships in the United States. And it's been really neat because some of them have had the opportunity to get into exceptional universities. That may not be the case if they didn't have that rowing to complement their academics. So last year, for example, which was a great year, We've had students that have gone on to Harvard and Columbia and Boston University. So a lot of great U.S. universities, but, and, and not to minimize the Canadian universities because we've also had a lot of students that have gone on to Canadian universities. We have stu uh, uh, rowers that are, are on the Brock team, on the Western team, on the uh, UBC team. So lot, lots of participation in collegiate rowing. Once again, the annual pasta dinner fundraising event makes a return, raising much needed funds for the rowing program. Rowing is probably one of the most expensive sports equipment wise. So obviously boats is our number one priority, but blades, um, you know, the, the oars that we use are also very costly. And then the rowing machines that we see some examples here at the uh, Flatwater Center, but we have, uh, you know, I don't even know how many, probably 20 to 30. And so number one priority is boats So We're talking about $40,000 to buy a boat. Uh, so a little bit different than buying some hockey equipment. And so uh, that's our priority. And this year, uh, you know, we're looking to buy a quad for sure. And uh, probably, a, you know, a couple of smaller boats as well. We are really blessed at EO Crosley rowing to have a really supportive community that we have terrific parents um, we have um, student athletes that are committed to their academics as well as their athletics. I think one of the things that's been special about being involved with this team over the years is that it's more than just a rowing team, it's a rowing community. And we've seen that rowing community come out and support us during the good times and the bad times. When we when we've struggled for whatever reasons, that community has stepped up and supported us and when it's been the good times, they've certainly been there right beside us helping us celebrate. So it's, it's, it's the most exciting part because it's always nice when you're part of more than just a team, when you can call it a rowing family, I think that makes it even more special. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.